Welcome back guys. Today I'll be starting from scratch with AutoCAD. Uh, before we start in AutoCAD, there are five things that we must do to be able to draw efficiently and effectively. The five things are, the first one, we should select a template. And uh, a template is basically, uh, in some cases, it can be a pre-bordered sheet or it could be a plain sheet, ACAD, ACAD, ISO, or several others. So we must set those. What I'd like you to do is to pause this video and take note of these of all five settings that you must set up before you start drawing. So let's pause for a bit. I'll allow you to write these down. Okay, now that you have written these down, let's explain these in a little bit. Uh, templates. Uh, ACAD ISO is normally used, the standard unit is millimeters. And this is normally used for building join. For plain and solid geometry or mechanical join, we typically use ACAD, straight ACAD. We could also use sheet sets. On the sheet, sheet set, we have um, sheet set for architecture, sheet set for um, manufacturing, and a couple other choices. All right? The difference between sheet sets and, um, this, and um, ACAD ISO or ACAD is that sheet set has a pre, is pre bordered. So, in that case, you don't need to do any title block. It's important to note as well that with sheet set you can you can choose to customize the pre border or you can explode it and uh, delete and insert or mod uh, modify as required. The next one is unit. The standard unit is millimeters. That's a given. Millimeters. So CSEC accepts only millimeters as units. And the shortcut key for units is UN. So you would, for the, you would um, type UN, enter, and it will bring up a dialog box. You simply click on the drop down for units if millimeter is not selected. It's important to know that for ACOT ISO, it would already be unit would be in millimeters as ACAD is straight millimeters. ACAD ISO, sorry. ACAD, however, is in feet and inches. It means, therefore, if you are going to draw, use ACAD for plain and solid geometry or um, mechanical drawing, you would need to change from feet and inches to millimeters. You could also change the precision to zero as we don't want any decimal place. All right? Very important to note. You will need U and enter. That would have been done. No, limit. The shortcut key for limit is L I M enter. And uh, it's important to know that the lower limit is always zero, comma zero. Yeah? We always start drawing at zero. The upper limit varies somewhat. Uh, the, it depends on the size, the actual size of the drawing. A typical example is this. So limit is basically an imaginary rectangle that we established. So say for example, we wish to draw this, all right? Your limit should be your limit should be such that this can fit into it, all right? So our lower limit would be zero comma zero, and in this case, our upper limit would be from here to here, of course, with some allowance for dimensioning. Yes, so it would be from here to here. This would be our horizontal this distance, and our upper limit 
or y value would be this distance here. So let us go up here. In this case, this is 10, 20, 30. 30 by 15. So in this case, this is 30 across. So my upper limit would be 30, comma, 15. Yes, copy. So an imaginary limit would have been established for this. It's important to know that you will not see any visible sign of your limit. It is basically an imaginary boundary that we basically draw on, all right? Now, to bring your limit onto the screen, I'm sure that from time to time where you're drawing, for example, you're drawing a line and you enter the length, you realize that a part of the line doesn't fit onto the screen. You have to zoom either in or out. The reason for that is that your limit was not set. Now, upon setting this limit, you must do something very, very important. You must bring that limit onto the screen. To bring that limit onto the screen, you must type Z for zoom followed by your enter key and A for all followed by your enter key. So it's Z, enter, A, enter. And that will bring the limit to, to fit onto the screen. Yes, very, very important. So setting your limit is one, but actually activating the limit is very, very important. So we type Z, enter, A, enter, to bring that limit onto the screen, all right? So as I was saying before, limit varies, right, for this. Now, what if we have another product? Say, for example, <coughs> I have this, I have th th this. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to draw this. No, this is a much smaller size size um, drawing or figure. So in this case, again, our lower limit for this would be, our limit would be much smaller. Yeah? And of course, our lower limit is also 0, 0. Upper limit would be the distance here, which would be 20, 20 on the x-axis. And uh, uh, 10 on the y axis. Yep, so in this case, our upper limit would be 20, 10. All right, copy. It's also important to note that to switch from the, the first value is always x, second is always y, just like maths. Now, just in case you make a mistake with your first value, say for example, you entered 200 instead of 20. It is simple. You simply press the tab key once and it will go back to the first, to the first value, to the X. Press your tab key again, it will go back to the second value. Okay? So we can change between the X and the Y by pressing our tab key. Okay? Very important. Now, layers. Layers are, are different types of lines that we use. It is recommended that we draw each part of the drawing on a separate layer. Meaning, you must create one layer for dimension, one layer for text, one layer for outline, one layer for center line, one layer for construction. Okay, every part of the drawing should be done on a separate layer. Of course, I will be expounding on these in my subsequent video. So look, look under the um, description for the link to the following video. And of course, I will be doing these in AutoCAD. This is the theoretical part of it. I will be demonstrating all of these using AutoCAD. So please click the link in the description see the article how I actually draw these. Dimension. 
And it's important to know that all of these are applicable to AutoCAD, AutoCAD architecture, and also mechanical. All right? It's, it's, it's applicable to all of them. Dimension. The shortcut key for dimension is D. And uh, the dimension setting that we use is relative to the size of the figure. All right? Because, for example, if we are dimensioning this, we would need smaller dimension settings like smaller size arrows, smaller size offset from origin, smaller size text for this. All right? As opposed to a larger object like this. All right? So in my subsequent video, I will expound on that. Okay? If so, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and click the link. There will be a video on templates unit limit layers and dimension please watch those okay